Hello and welcome to this tutorial on desktop image resizing. Here we have an image on the desktop but as you can see the image isn't fully extending to the right and the left of the screen because we have a widescreen format here. We have these black bands to the right and to the left of the screen. Now you can change that by right mouse clicking on the screen, selecting personalize, desktop background and we can select fit to screen. But if we look at the result image we have a very squashed person so the image has been stretched to right and left to make it fit. Now to avoid this what we need to do is actually crop the image to the screen format that we have here. Now we have a 16.9 format screen here which is the most common format for new screens we can change that by using many tools but one of the ready most available tools is Picasa which is free and downloaded from Google so if we select Picasa here we are Picasa opens up so opens up our picture folder and we here we have our image so if we double click on that image we can see our square type format but we want a widescreen format to match our screen so what we need to do is come over here to the left and select crop and what we want to do is select a 16.9 format which is what we have here selected and it automatically puts gives you these options it thinks it wants a pictorial type shape but what we want to select is this landscape type shape. So if we select that we can see this white area here is the 16.9 landscape format which is what we want. So if we now click apply we have the correct format that we want for our screen. and now we want to save with a different name otherwise we overwrite our original copy so if we select as I did file and then we need to do save as and here this file is called silhouette so if we call this silhouette crop and save it and then we go back to our library we now have two images in our library right clicking the one we, s we have our cropped image so if we now close down Picasa and now here we're back on the desktop with our original squashed image we now need to select the other image so if we right mouse click personalize desktop background and we now go and select our pictures folder we have our new format widescreen click that OK it and there we are with a correctly formatted normal shaped image cut to the right format thank you for listening